There aren't really any words to describe that somebody literally gave their breath to make you live. Somebody cared enough and was trained enough to save my life. This, it, but a thank you isn't enough. So I'm getting a bit emotional. That's to dance in me. I, I remember sitting at the police and ordering the food and I remember moments before the actual incident. The message came in because I was in the side at the moment, it's like, oh, someone's choking outside. And then as soon as I came out, it was like, yeah, that's not quite... It was just so strange. Yeah. Just, you just turned up. I bent down, I took a selfie with the dogs, and then I sat up and I just said something, and that was it, I just went. Seeing Steve literally it was like a switch flicking um you know he he powered down and turned off really and that you know that was it um it was terrifying one of our servers came in uh saying there's an issue on one of the tables someone's unwell i shouted and shook his uh, shook him to see if there was any response and there wasn't i then opened the defib attached the patches and uh, the defib started analyzing steve and we then followed the instructions. Um, it was, at the end, four shocks in total. I died um, without the, the care, the immediate care that I got and the location that I was at. It was almost like fate dictated that I was there. I wouldn't be alive today. So having done a course with St John, it's been um, really useful to know that I've got that kind of checklist in my mind and have those tools to just, um, hopefully that would kick in if I ended up in a similar situation again and I'd know what to do. So knowing first aid is reassuring um, to have the confidence to be able to deliver whatever aspect of first aid is required. You know, from a cut to a trip to something as extreme as what we had to go through.